Hey guys, guys, and we, we back, back with, with another, another video. video. Um, we about to talk, talk about, about the movie Ma. Ma. It was such a good movie, guys. Like y'all gotta go see it. Um, it's just basically like a little horror thriller. Yeah. So, um, it started off um with the lady Octavia Spencer. She plays um Ma. she's she's a really good actress. Like she plays Ma. Her name is Sue Ann in the movie, and um. Basically, um, some guys, um, when she was in high school, had, like, you know, hurt her. It was, like, you know, some white guys or however. This white guy named Ben had really hurt her. And um, I guess she was, like, trying to get back at him. So um, she targeted, like, his son. And it was um, another girl that didn't stop. The situation from happening to her when she was in school like they just let they teased her and they just let you know this guy do stuff to her and um so what she did was she went after their kids when they got older so um what's the girl named maggie um maggie had moved you know moved into town and she started dating um a guy named andrew Andrew. Yeah. So they used to like party. They went to like, um, they went to like a liquor store or something like and that. And then that's when they was on um, recording. And they thought they didn't think that she can look through that thing without being recorded. But and that's when they was talking about she was crazy and stuff. No, first, um, so the little girl Maggie, she was new to the school, and so um, she started hanging with like the popular kids, which was um. The guy's son named Ben, the one that hurt, the one that hurt mom. So um, they started hanging out, and they went to like a liquor store, but they was too young, you know, to buy liquor. So they was asking like older people, you know, can they buy the liquor for them and stuff like that. But everybody else was turning them down. But once they seen mom, mom had turned them down at first. But once she seen that it was the guy Ben's son, Andrew. Andy or Andrew, or however, that's when she decided to buy the liquor for them. And then she told them they, they could start hanging out at her house because she don't want them to be drinking and driving. So, you know, she used to party with the kids all the time. She would be like, don't make me don't drink, make me drink, drink, drink alone. alone. Then she was like, guys, yeah, it's 5 o'clock. I know. It's a party somewhere. She started. Um, it's party time. Yeah, she started partying with them, letting them like hang out in her basement, you know, drinking and just having a good time. But you know, after after a while, like she started being like a a stalker. Like she started coming up to their high school and you know just starting to you know hang around them too much. She was. Um, Sue Ann, which is mom, she was like a loner. She didn't really have no friends or no family. She didn't have no family or no boyfriend. She did have a daughter, but she used to keep the little girl like locked up in and, a room, in a room, and like give her medicine. And you know, she lied to the little girl and told the little girl she was sick, but nothing was really wrong with her. She just didn't want the little girl to go to high school, I guess. And you know, have a social life and hang with, you know, friends Because she stuff. didn't get a chance to Because she that. didn't have no friends and everybody was being mean to her. So I guess she didn't want her daughter to experience it. So she would treat her daughter really mean, give her daughter medicine every day, lock her up in a room. She put her in like a wheelchair and, lock you know, didn't let her go to high school. The little girl begged her to go back to school. She was like, Ma, I want to be around my friends. I want to... You know, do my homework and my classwork so I could pass, you know. But her mother's like, no, you're not going to school, hanging around them people. And they, then they be mean to you. She just was mad because nobody, when she was young, you know, nobody right, wanted really, to really, really hang her. with her. She and was they, probably like a nerd. You know, they treated her really mean. They should have never did that, but that didn't give her a right, you know. To be mean to other people. To be mean to other people, so... Once the high schoolers start, like, catching on to her and see that she was just, you know, borderline stalkerish, like, keep popping up at their school, keep calling them, asking them to hang out. They was like, um, they told her no. They didn't. She came up to the school one time. They told her no. Can you stop? They told her no. 
she didn't um they didn't want to hang out with her. They had class and they you know they just told her they, they had things school. they had to do you know, and she got mad about it. And then she started stalking them on Facetime. Yeah, she started stalking them, and then um then she started trying to hang with another group of high schooler friends. But all they did was like use her to get like beer and liquor for them, and then like. Um, they threw like a can or something at her window or egg or something was like, Mom, you are a loser. Stay away from us. Like they was just, you know, being mean to her and then she started crying. That's when she started, you know, really getting mean. And so, um the other girl, Haley, she was a real popular girl too, that um was hanging with Maggie. She said, Mom, get a life. Do you have a boyfriend? Or won't you go get you a man or get you some friends? Like, we don't want to hang out with you. You you too old. You know, I don't want to, we don't want to hang out with you no more. And that's when mom got really crazy. She's like, mom, don't you got a job? Don't you got a man or something? Won't you get a life? You know, then mom just flipped went. out. She went, she flipped out after that. And um, so they stopped hanging with her. And then. Haley made a video and was like, everybody, ditch mom. Don't go to her house no more. Don't hang out with her no more. She crazy. That bitch is crazy. Excuse my language. But and then they heard, she heard when, that. When she heard that, because um, she really went crazy. Because she sent it to, um, Haley had sent it to all their friends, everybody in high school. It was like, don't hang out with mom no more. Because she's, she's loco. She's psycho, you know. And so that's when mom... Um, she started plucking them off one by one, you know. She sold a girl lips. Yeah, she sold Haley lips because Haley told her to get a man. She stabbed Andrew in the back. She um attached him to a She bed? killed Andrew's father because that was the one that made fun of her in high school. And he faked like he liked her, but the whole time he was just being mean to her. And he set her up to get hurt. So she um I think she stabbed him. She stabbed him to death. He was all, it was the, the whole bed was bloody. Like, she killed them. She killed this girlfriend. Um, she tried to, like, um, you know, kill everybody in the house. Um, but she couldn't. She painted the other boy, Darrell, the black boy. She painted his face white. She was like, it's only, it only could be one of us. Only one black person. So she painted his face um, white. She said, "My, it only could be one of us. Sorry, Darrell, but it only could be one of us." Then, um, her daughter at the end, her daughter did try to save them. Well, she did end up saving them because mom was like stabbing them all up and trying to kill them. She hit her with a pan that was on fire. Yeah, so she was like, she caught her upstairs. She's like, "Mom, mom, help me, get off of me!" And then when mom ran upstairs, she hit her with the pan, smacked her downstairs, and um. Then she started, you know, freeing the other um, kids. And her and Maggie stopped. She freed Maggie. Then Maggie stopped freeing all the other kids. But then in the end, mom woke up. The house was burning on fire. But um, mom grabbed her daughter. But then in the end, um, because she was trying to kill her daughter too. But then in the end, um, Maggie had stabbed her. And, um... Maggie had stabbed mom, was like, I'm not weak like my mother because Maggie's mother was dead in high school when mom was young, but she didn't um, stop whatever had happened to mom. So that's why mom was mad because the guy did something to hurt her and the guy Ben had did something to hurt her and Maggie didn't, Maggie's mother didn't even stop. Um, stop it or say anything but Maggie Mother was like I'm sorry mom I'm sorry I should have said something I was weak I'm sorry I was too weak to say anything I apologize that was in high school I'm sorry I was too weak but then Maggie went and stabbed mom was like my mom might be weak but I'm not weak and she stabbed she stabbed mom up right in the back right in the back and then the house was burning she didn't even fire. Die. but she's so crazy she didn't even die she didn't even die at all. She um, she went upstairs and laid in a pool of blood with um Andrew's dad, with Andy's dad. She laid in a, the pool of blood in the bed with him, and she burnt on fire with him. And, yeah, it was a really good movie. I give it, you know, five stars. Like, it was, it was really great. What would you rate it, one to ten? I would rate it a ten. It was a good 
thriller. It was a I really good didn't see horror it. thriller. I only it was, saw it the inside. I'm still going with a nine. Yeah, it's a ten to me. I really like it. It's not too scurry. It don't have like a lot of blood and guts, but you know, it's just right. You know, so I really like that movie. Even come up with a mom too. Yeah, I think they will because she, I don't know. She might have escaped in the end, but I know in in the end she was um laying with Ben. But how and crazy, he was laid up in a pool of blood. How crazy she is. She might don't even die of burning. She probably don't. But guys, you know, thank you for, you know, reviewing mom with us. Thank you for watching our video. And, you know, please like, share, and subscribe. And give this video a, a thumbs, thumbs up. up. And, you know, we'll, we'll see you catch you on the, the next, next vlog. Oh, clips and bye. Bye.